magic of this unit. This is the RE150 Space Echo. This is my pride and joy. I love this delay. This is the ultimate delay for me. It's got a certain percussiveness to it and uh, a certain tone enhancing that happens in the preamp of this thing. But uh, just the delays are just incredible. Absolutely incredible. And look, look at how I'm going to take this screw out. I'm missing the other screw. But take a look at how this actually works. This is awesome. You see the tape? Going round and round. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Uh, I love this thing and I'm always looking for a digital version of it. Now, again, you'll notice I'm visiting my mother's house and this is where I'm keeping some of my gear right now as I moved down to the Dominican Republic for some time. So uh, I've got this unit and I recently picked up this thing. This is the new X or the NUX, <laughs> uh, the Tape Echo, the SOS. Now this is obviously, as you can see by the design, uh, this is supposed to emulate this. Now I've used the previous boss unit and the new boss unit, didn't spend as much time with the new one but I find that it's lacking a certain percussiveness to the sound and the tone. Uh, we're gonna see how this stacks up. So I thought it would be fun because I have this here to compare. I'm gonna turn the volume down a bit because it's a little loud. There you go. in and see what that sounds like if I can get a similar kind of tone. So right away, I mean, I, I, I should have adjusted the instrument volume down, but it just sounds so damn good when it's um, pushing the front of the amp, but uh, we'll, we'll get to that after. turn the level up a little bit and put it up here.
other thing is that this thing is old and finicky. People like to use the reverb in the RE201, which I don't have. Um, this doesn't have reverb in it. It's just got the delay, and I'm absolutely fine with that. This does have reverb built in, and it actually sounds really good. Um, but in order to keep the comparison fair, I'm just leaving the reverb off on this unit. So let's try uh, something. that um, with uh, another tape unit that's popular like the EP3, um, the Echoplex, that will tend to cut off the bass and the, the high end will remain. Whereas this I find is more like an analog delay. It cuts off the high end and ducks underneath the original signal, making it more of a warm delay, which I really like. Here it's getting darker and darker. Do that again. That um... you know that preamp is pretty magical in this thing, even when it's turned down low. Let's plug this guy in here and let's see. Whoa! Don't fall over now. So here's the thing, this isn't as dark. Now, the tape is definitely older in this, but this is brighter sounding. But guess what, I've got an EQ, so. Thank you. 
Also adjust the gain in this pedal as well as the uh, wow and flutter. I have it set pretty low. I mean, I think it's fairly similar. This is a little gainier for sure. This is a bit cleaner, like a newer tape. But um... So I have to select, maybe I hold the select button, right, saturation 23%. So if I went up to 30%, maybe I'd be able to get that. Let's try it. Let's just, wow, flow that will keep all the rest of it off. Fine, lovely. <laughs> Cut. 
percussiveness, a darkness, and a grain, like that, that gamey grain. <laughs> some more gain to it now. I think it's close. There's always going to be magic mojo in, in this old analog box, but I think we're pretty close here. And we have the added benefit of tap tempo and being able to really control all these other things. And of course, this little box is a lot easier to carry around than this thing, less prone to breaking down. It's solid box too. I mean, really, it's got some good weight to it. Um, nice metal enclosure. And apparently you've got a MIDI in and MIDI out, which is awesome too. I don't use MIDI, but uh, for those that do, that's pretty great. So let's do a final, final comparison here. Um, Increase the saturation here. Hello. Let's go up to 40%. All right. <laughs> Still that dark factor. <laughs> 
you want to call it digital hi-fi whatever but there's there's it's a little bit more hi-fi than this again this is older tape that's a part of the magic of these analog units so in here for a second uh i twiddled with, i twiddled <laughs> with the knobs a little bit i increased the gain to about 60 percent i have the wow at 15 percent and the flutters at four and i gotta say I, I think it's really close now in terms of tone that I'm disappointed with, I'm not going to lie, is that it doesn't have a preamp in it. If this had a preamp emulating this, it would be perfect. Why? New X, why? is the preamp because I like to drive this preamp a little bit louder and turn the amp down and let's hear what that sounds like so if I turn the amp down but turn the preamp up and I'm pushing the front of the amp cool to have like a digital 
needle version of that on, on this or an upgraded version of this, the new version, the version two or version three or whatever, uh, that would be cool. That's the one thing that's missing, man, is this, the magic of this. Now, you don't have the dirty pots, <laughs> you don't have the broken tape and all that stuff to deal with, but uh, if you could get that preamp, man, get an analog preamp even, in and keep the, the delay side digital if you want, man, what are we talking about there? Anyway, that's all I gotta say about that. I think it's a winner. I'm very happy with this new X Nux uh, pedal. <laughs> uh, I dig the tape. I mean, I wish I could take this with me everywhere. I love this unit, but this thing sounds really good. You know, it sounds really good for what it is. And I know I'm just using it for a simple straight ahead one delay. I'm not stacking, you know, there's three tape heads on this thing. So you can get all different sorts of sounds just like you can in this. Um, but I just wanted a, a simple tone test. And I'm wondering what you guys think. Could you hear the difference? Uh, I know that, you know, there are going to be parts where the volume's a little bit off and all that, but, you know, I think back and forth, all in all, great pedal, great value, especially with prices being where they are for a lot of these pedal units right now for like $500 or whatever. I mean, th this is in the affordable zone for sure. So definitely I would say check it out. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I bought this, this stuff with my own money. So uh, check it out. If you dig this shirt, Playtime, it's my own personal design. If you want to support me in the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. If you've ever had a chance to try one of these in real life uh, or what you think in terms of how it came across in the video. I know it'll always be different in the room, but let me know what you think. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I, I definitely did. And I, I love the new X pedal even more with all the, the ways that you can change the wow flutter and gain. I'm just going to keep playing with this thing, but uh, Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.